In today's solo video, I will go on a 60 player Polaris server and I will build my OP base in a tunnel. I will raids, destroy rich players and getting one of the best solo Polaris wipes in my 8000 hours. If you guys enjoy and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 250 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown right now and today we're going through another one, which is an energized bandito musk. To win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're joining in. Polaris completely solo, completely naked, and let's hope we get ourselves a good wipe. I think the server wiped like a few days ago though, so I'm probably gonna be a bit behind, but there are over 60 players in the server. There's a dude literally right in front of me. Yeah, let's turn our cosmetics off. There's already a lot of shots going on in front of me. I think that dude just spawned in front of me is actually already dead. So I'm just gonna get out of here. But I do have a plan of what I want to do today, actually. And that is that I want to build in a tunnel. There are some locations in this map where you can actually build tunnels in tunnel bases. So that's what I'm gonna try to do uh, today. Hopefully they're not already taken over. There are a few tunnels, so once it's taken over, we can check the next one. Yeah, it could be very OP. You could stack it with layers. You could put sentries. There's only one way to enter. So that's what we're going to try to do. There is a vault system, but first things first is I'm gonna obviously try to build a temporary base because in order for us to build a tunnel base, we're gonna need a lot of items, a lot of supplies, a lot of base parts. So what I'm gonna focus on first is, first of all, finding a tunnel that's unclaimed. Oh, there's a dude there. Alright, let's just kill him. But yeah, I want to find myself a tunnel that's unclaimed and also I want to get my... Uh, he hit me. Bro, go away, man. There we go, he's dead. And I'm gonna try to get myself a some loot, some military loot, maybe we'll get ourselves some lotuses as well. But I do want to do raids, I do want to finish as much as possible when it comes to the quests. I want to build myself a tunnel base, airdrop, gotta try to get myself as much items as possible in this wipe. There's a lot of shots going on man, it's crazy. 60 players on Polaris is just chaos. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further, because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. Servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world, and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark, and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off and let's get straight back into the action. Let's check out what this plane has. There's always military spawns up here. Now, there's a tunnel very close to here. Actually, if we build in this tunnel, it'll be literally right next to here. There we go. We got a walnut. Perfect. And the Uzi. Okay, I'll take those. So, I'm gonna actually vault the walnut. Because if we get gun parts, I can get that into a penumbra. So, I'm just gonna roam around with the Uzi for now. And I'm gonna make myself... I need more cloth for a bed. There we go. There's more cloth there. And we got ourselves a bedroll. Perfect. Right, let's put that in vault. Now, currently, there's a lot of people on because it's peak time for players to come on. So, I'll probably, if I do get myself a good start, I'll probably just join early in the morning tomorrow. So, not a lot of people will be on. That's gonna be the plan. Oh, yeah, this is the tunnel I was referring to. I really hope there's no base in it. it looks like there's a few more bases up here. Before we check the tunnel, I'm actually gonna try to take one over that's already raided. And yeah, there's another base here that's unraided. And I don't think a lot of people will actually come in this area. I really hope they don't. We could build over here too and use the rock for a temporary base. Uh, industrial copper coil. Oh my god, that's perfect. Bro, that's two hard beacons. There's another base here, armored. There's so many bases around. Oh, this is raided. We could take this over then. Just for now, temporary first base. But we're gonna need to get ourselves a chainsaw or an axe or something. Alright, so there's a kit which gives you a block. I'm just gonna make myself a bed and put this bad boy in here. So now we can actually just home somewhere. We can make ourselves some sheets. Maybe I could try to make a locker, but I don't think I have enough. It's gonna be a bit painful. Yeah, I can't chop down trees with this. I need to get myself a saw or an axe in order for me to build. Alright, so since we're... Next to a safe zone entrance, I'm actually gonna go in and just claim as much quests as possible. Because today in this wipe, I do want to get myself almost all the quests done. Obviously, adventure. Maybe we'll get ourselves the gun dude as well. That would be pretty good if we do. Executioner is just zombie kills and we'll get rewarded for it. My overthrow and there we go. Alright, let's start claiming. We can finish the carrot quest. Let's get this dude as well. Lovely, there we go. 
We'll try to do the fishing quest as well later on. At some point, I'll just come in here and fish for an hour. Something like that. There we go. Carrot quest is done. Beautiful. Now let's get this dude. But most importantly, it's adventure. It's always adventure. It's easy lotuses, easy filters. Let's get fishing as well. And there, we should have gotten everyone that is actually important. I'm gonna try to get this night vision actually. But for some reason, it's stopping the, the movement. It's weird. Yeah, it's not doing it, bro. What? What's wrong with the server? There, we just have to land on top of the light post. And we got night vision. Great. All right, now we home. And I'm still gonna try to find myself an axe or something like that. We got pickaxes though. So I can just go for a metal if I really want to. But we'll put one in vaults. There's somebody chopping down trees right next to us, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. This is right next to my base, so... There we go, he's... Bro, this Ozi is crazy! Oh, perfect! Yo, he has a drill! And logs! Oh my god, that's perfect. My guy, thank you so much. I can actually now fully seal off the base that I'm taking over. And I'm gonna home. We're gonna take all of this wood, though. But that drill is crazy. My guy's roaming around with a drill. I'm so happy we got this kill. This is a very profitable kill. I don't even know what gun he had. I don't really care about the gun right now. We're putting this in vault, the drill especially. Oh yeah, he only had a pistol by the looks of it. Poor dude. I don't know why he was running around with that though. I think he's just building a base. Alright, we are back. Let's just seal off. There we go. We got two pillars. And now we could take the doorway out. I actually made it into scrap. I was farming scrap for it. And we got the door. Perfect. Oh, and we have ourselves... Our own base that's taken over. I'm gonna make myself some crates. But very soon, I will start building into the tunnel. I just needed a place for me to store some loot. So if I get any good kills, I could just put them in here. Without having to risk dying while building in the tunnel. But we got that. We got that very early, actually. So we got ourselves a good start. And very soon, I'll start working on the tunnel base. Alright, so there is no base in here, which is perfect. There's just a few foundations, which is actually helpful because I can just build on them and um, they're all metal too. So that's even better. But basically, I would just need to make some pillars, walls, and that's it. And people, if pe the owner of those floors come and salvage, they still wouldn't be able to get in because the ground is very flat. So it should be alright. But yeah, I'm farming cloth, metal for rope, cans. We need all of those. But yeah, if we live in here, we would be close to this military location. Perfect for horde beacons. Not a lot of people come here either, and uh, yeah, it looks quite good. We could upgrade it quite a lot, so we could build all the way up there. And this is exactly where I want to build. It looks sick. I'm actually gonna start building with the few logs that I already have. It's not gonna be done, but maybe I can just get myself a one by one. I still wouldn't move all of the loot this early though. Yeah, the pillar is inside the, the tunnel. Yeah, let's make ourselves a window. So if people are there, I could actually see them. Especially if we do one-way gloss. And if we do sentries here, it'll be so OP. Yeah, base is decaying. I gotta make a generator. Yeah, we gotta get ourselves a lot more wood though. We're gonna have to farm a lot for this. But we got ourselves the bed over here. The other base, I'll just go back whenever I need to. There's actually kind of nothing in there. Just a few low-tier guns. And it's time to start chopping. Oh, there's somebody, bro. Oh, I'm dead, man. No. Oh, man. All right, it's all right, though. I mean, I only lost that Mac 10, so it's kind of whatever. I'm gonna try to kill myself and actually just get a random spawn and try to get myself like a Rax Riches or something. I think that would be a, a great idea. He already hear shots. The thing is, it's very foggy right now and I can barely see anything, man. All right, we're at the gun store. Give me the good loot. Uh, Kinney, ammo. Yeah, it's already looted, though, but... Yeah, some stuff respawned. There we go. We got some more ammo. There's a zombie in here. Bro, die. I can't hit him. There we go. I hear shots around, so there's probably people around. So I gotta be a little bit careful. Alright, so I'm back in base. I'm gonna place all of the placeables that I have so that we have some storage in our vault. I'm starting to get some okay loot, to be honest. I mean, starting off pretty nice. Especially now we already have two bases. They're both small, but, you know, having an extra base is always a good idea. Just in case you're getting raided, you can always use it as a counter base. Or you can split the loot. So if you get raided, you won't lose everything. Obviously, this is gonna be my main base. I probably won't even ever go to the first base that I took over. Okay, we got our locker, so... Let's get all this stuff that we, we can spare to put in the locker and do that. Put them in there. I'm not going to wear the military backpack because I'm hoping to get Bavlar Stone. And we'll get ourselves a mercenary backpack. And I'm gonna keep those and I'm actually going to try to do a PMC backpack today. 
So if I do raid, I'll use that as my backpack to uh, have ourselves as much storage as possible. So we can only raid in one go. We don't have to come back another time. We get ourselves another backpack there. It's really good. Bro, these zombies are so annoying. There we go. He's dead. Make ourselves another backpack, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, but for a PMC, I think we need two mercenary and two SWAT. So we still got to get ourselves SWAT backpacks, which is just police backpacks. Oh, there's a dude right there. Bro, there's people in the... In the sewers. Yeah, they're loading shotgun. He's right here. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, I think there's a raid or something going on. I'm not gonna bother going back. There's people camping the hole, man. With shotguns. It's like a big group, so... I lost myself a kinney. But it's whatever. It's just one gun. We got ourselves a saw. We can chop down trees with it. I think I'm gonna go to the... Mines, actually. I'm gonna try to make myself some metal from there. There should be pickaxes from there, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we got a jackhammer. I'm gonna vault it. I, I vault this. I don't want to lose it. If we get ourselves a chainsaw, we can get ourselves another drill. Oh, there's people here, bro. Bro, there's a duo. Oh, he didn't see me. Bro, die. Oh, we killed him. Bro, where's the gun? Where's the gun? Here we go. Walnut. Oh, no. Bro, how low is he? Bro, he's at 14 HP. Oh, my God. Bro, if I got that kill, I would have gotten so much loot from a naked. It would have been insane. Oh, well. There's a dude in here. There we go. He's dead. Blasted. My guy had a uh, shotgun and a block. He has a lot of police armor, so that could that's good because that could be turned to swap. I'm going to salvage them for now. I need meds more than anything. Yeah, he killed someone in here by the looks of it. Oh, there's people outside. I hear them. There's people on snow. Where the hell? Oh, that's... Oh, he's up there! Hit him! Hit him! Oh, he's dead! Bro, my guy has a penumbra! Swat clothing, swat backpack. Yo, there we go. I just gotta not die and get out of here. It's full swat armor, bro. That's crazy. Yo, from shotgun to penumbra and full swat is insane. Right, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go back to base. And we are back in base, bro. That's insane. I'm still gonna roam around with shotgun. I'm not gonna take the penumbra out. That's a hell no. If I die with it, I would lose the only high tier weapon that I have. We also have a Brenter, by the way. So that's really nice as well. But obviously for now, I'm not gonna focus on raiding. I'm still working on this base. Still working to get ourselves more loot. More high tier weapons. Stuff for the Lotuses too. But since there's a lot of people right now, everywhere I go, there's just PvP. And Lotus obtained. Beautiful. Progress. Yeah, my vault is full. I'm gonna have to just put these in my inventory and bam. So I farmed a lot. I did build a lot of the base as well. But I think I'm gonna head off zone for the day. Day one we got everything that we needed honestly. But before we do I'm actually going to go back and going to get more uh, Lotuses because I had it the whole time in my base. So before we hot off for the day I'm just going to go there. Get ourselves another locker. Get ourselves more Lotuses and then when I'm back I am going to salvage a part of the base because this server requires a generator and I only have like 15% in my generator. So I'm kind of scared that it's gonna decay overnight. It's currently 10 p.m. But I do think that tomorrow morning I will be back. I will try to join as early as possible. Hopefully it won't decay by then but We'll focus on that later. Let's just go get ourselves some more lotuses. All right, the truck. Let's take everything out. Go get ourselves the second lotus. And now we can actually make ourselves the filter, which is exactly what we need. There's a loot pile here. So let's just take it. Somebody died. It's mine now. All right, so what I truly need now is actually a broken gauze mask. We got ourselves the filter. We got everything for the filter ready, but we need the broken gauze mask or six rolls of biohazard fiber. I'm going to take my chances with getting a broken gauze mask. So... 
So what I'm gonna try to do next, I'm going to go to the safe zone and I'm just gonna fish. I'm gonna try to get it from fishing. It shouldn't be that hard. We'll finish the fishing quest as well, so we'll get the high tier fishing rod, which is what my plan is. And at the same time, we'll finish a lot of the quests. I did finish a bunch of them actually, especially the cyan crystal one. There's gonna be an easy cyan crystal and then an easy mechanical lotus. So it shouldn't be a, a, any issue. We're gonna get ourselves a lot of gold. And with just two wooden scrap, we're gonna get ourselves the wooden rod and bam, we'll get ourselves the high tier rod. Okay, we got ourselves some attachments on this bad boy, looking much better. We gotta just salvage all of these, getting ourselves a few metal as well. And let's go get ourselves a broken gauze mask. Hopefully it doesn't take me long when I'm fishing. Alright, we're back in the safe zone, come on, get in. Alright, we're through. And there we go. First, let's just finish the quest that we've got. This dude is done. They're gonna give us some money and some ammo. Not a big deal, but hey, it's done. Yeah, Cyan Crystal is ready. Let's get ourselves a Lotus one, ready as well. It's an easy Lotus. Now we just gotta get ourselves the Broken Gauss Mask and we'll get ourselves another filter. Alright, so now let's do the fishing. Finish this quest as well. We just gotta give him some cooked fish. Oh, there we go, second item, we get it. That's, that's sick. I'm gonna keep fishing a little bit more though. But that's exactly what I needed. But yeah, we can also make the gauze mask from here, so we can get ourselves the other filter from this quest already, so we have ourselves a backup filter. I'll keep fishing for a few more minutes. Alright, there we go, we got ourselves another filter, and I'm actually gonna go do the dead zone run, literally right now. I mean, we're at the safe zone, we could just teleport to the dam, and we're gonna get ourselves <laughs> a dead zone run this early into the wipe. I mean, technically the wipe started a few days ago, but me personally, I've been on the server for like an hour and a half. We're already going for dead zone runs. That That's kind of quick. Alright, here we are. Dead zone run. It's five times loot, so we're gonna get a lot of stuff, man. Not a huge fan of these type of servers, especially when it comes to the dead zone. Let's do like two dead zone runs and we have 10 C4. We're gonna be raiding so much probably tomorrow. But after this dead zone run, I'm gonna head off for the day. We'll log off with all the goodies. Hopefully we won't get raided during the night. And we'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't have the key either, so tomorrow we'll try to get in to get the key. The blueprint for it. And I just get to take everything, all the bavlar. This gunpowder is actually huge. I'm gonna try to get as much as possible. And we're gonna upgrade to mercenary backpack. I don't have military clothes on me, so I couldn't upgrade those, but it's whatever, man. Mercenary backpack will be more than enough, probably. There are a lot more gunpowder and armor plates here. Obviously, I will try to do as much armored lockers as possible tomorrow, but we'll do all of that tomorrow. I even trying to upgrade, uh, like, the core of the base to full armored. It's gonna be very easy to get armored plates. Let's break this, and we got ourselves a pretty good gun. This gun is actually OP. Right, so let's check out the other area. There's not a lot of zombies, man. I think somebody looted this area earlier, but the thing is there's no loot on the floor. Either that or just just less zombies on the server since it's high times loot. I really don't know. Usually there's like five zombies here. I only see one. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, two gunpowder and normal plate. Let's just break this and we'll home. And we got ourselves a crazy. Okay, not bad. Pretty good that zone run. I like it. Could have gotten worse loot, but we got ourselves a lot of gunpowder, a lot of armor plates, a lot of ammo. So I won't complain. Oh, there's a dude there. Hit him. Bro, took a while to die. Oh, he has a pretty nice full set. Alright, not too bad. He probably heard me shooting down the observer and tried to counter me or something like that. There's a lot of chopped trees around here. Probably someone is building a base then. Alright, so I have made a charge, but that's for tomorrow. We got two charges in total now, and I'm gonna take the loot with me. I'm gonna salvage some of the base parts, so if the base does decay until tomorrow morning, then I would have myself like a one by one to build quickly, because I'm gonna have all of the loot on me. I really hope I don't get offline raided, or griefed, or my base decays during the night. I really, really hope so, it won't. I can maybe try to fuel it up, but I got the, I got the important stuff on me. But the thing is, if I return tomorrow and uh, the base is completely gone, I'm just gonna be a, a very geared player without a base. And if I die once, I would lose everything. But I'm gonna take a locker with me. I'm gonna take both of them, actually. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow. 
All right, boys, it's early in the morning. Uh, we're back. I'm hoping I did not get raided or base decayed. Yep, base is fine. Let's turn this bad boy on. Yeah, barely lost HP. What? Okay. All right, that's really good then. I think the generator lost for a long time then. That's good. But we got to replace all of the stuff that I salvaged then. Shouldn't be a problem though. Let's get ourselves the lockers. Put these over here. But today is date, so... There's literally nobody on the server right now. I am the first person to join in the morning. It is currently almost 7 a.m. Woke up very early for this video, bro. So guys, better drop a like if you haven't. But yeah, we're gonna continue. Today's plans are we're gonna try to, uh, first of all, build a stronger base. Make myself a full Lutrum armored. And I want to do base raids. I want to get myself the military crates from the bottom of the dead zone. I want to finish as much quests as possible. And I'll hopefully try to get myself a live base raid. That would be sick if we do. But if we don't, I'll just try to get myself a lot of base raids. But I'm going to roam the map literally without a care since nobody is on. Let's salvage this as well. Actually, let's fix it up really quickly. I'm going to try to make sentries too. And uh, we'll do the second floor, which will be honeycomb. Alright, so we're starting the day off with some base raids wooden, so it shouldn't take a lot. We're gonna do a lot of C4 later on today. So this is gonna be our first base raid. Let's hope that we're gonna get ourselves something good, but... Oh, well, I didn't even go through. We broke a pillar and that's it. Well, we got ourselves the second C4. We don't have any more then. We're through and, uh, is there nothing? Bro, oh, there's some crates, but tape, ammo, there's a gauze can, more tape, grenades, some 12mm bullet, and the Uzi, grenades and ammo. Alright, you know what? Very bad raid. Not worth it at all. Those bullets are good though, but other than that, very bad raid. Very disappointed. Let's destroy the bed. So my plan is getting fibers for making myself the key for the uh, dead zone. Alright boys, dead zone run number two and first dead zone of the day. Gonna hope we get good stuff. I really, really do. Alright, back in base. Pretty good dead zone run. Gonna make myself another locker. Starting to expand base slowly but surely. When it comes to storage. I stacked the gunpowder in a stack of 10. The server allows that. We got a lot of gun parts. A lot of gun oil. Gun parts is really good because every single walnut I get, I can make them into penumbras. The same thing with kinnies, I can make them into krizzies, which is actually really cool. I really like that feature. But I think my next step is I'm actually going to probably focus on getting cord beacons down. All we need is just some copper coil for it, generator, and that's it. Some metal. And bam, easy horde beacon. We're gonna get ourselves a ton of lotuses from it. Alright, it's metal farming time. Got my jackhammer. And I'm gonna get as much metal as possible. So from that metal run, I am going to focus primarily on making some armored display lockers. It's gonna look sick, man. We got ourselves some hordes too, which is perfect. I'm gonna salvage this and I'm gonna move it away. Because we're gonna start fixing up the base, making some honeycomb, making it a bit stronger than it was before. We're gonna focus on doing that. So this one by one here will be the bedroom and it will be the generator for now. I'll probably move the generator once again, to be honest. But base is starting to look quite nice, man. It's starting to be a bit cozy and I like it like this. I really, really do. We'll do the horde beacons later. I'm probably gonna do two at the time. So two horde beacons after each other. We did just get ourselves a lot of generators, which is perfect. That's what we need for hordes. I think I just need to get myself a few copper coil and that's that's it, and we can get ourselves a few more. We got ourselves a stack of cans still. That's crazy. There we go, just make them into lockers. And now all of these, get myself some armored plates. We got a stack over here, salvage. And there we go, more industrial lockers. Beautiful. There's gonna be my wall of lockers back here. Probably salvage this generator as well. And on top of them, I'll do normal lockers. I think that would look so cool. Let's salvage this generator, let's get it out of here. Oh, this generator actually was broken. It's no problem, though. Alright, it's hard. Beacons time. I'm gonna place two at the same time. So one is done. Another one will start instantly. And I'm just gonna shoot them all down, bro. How many bullets does it take? It takes, like, two bullets per zombie. That's not a lot. That's good. We should be done with a horde in, like, 
five minutes or probably even less. Yeah, I just gotta make sure I don't get too far away and the hordes will not break. Yeah, zombies are very not spawning all at the same time, which is perfect. And there's nobody on the server either right now, so I can be as loud as possible. It's crazy how yesterday there were 60 plus players and right now there's nobody because I joined early. It's grinding time. Omega zombie is here. Let's dodge. Oh, I need to med up. I'm almost dead actually. Just keep going in a circle. Alright, mega zombies here, yep. He almost hit me, dude. Alright, he is dead. There's still another zombie. Wait, let's med up. And let's take this dude down and the first one will be done. Yep. Wait, drop more than two. Oh my god, wait, let's just finish this one too. I thought they only can drop two lotuses per horde. They dropped more, man. Oh, I love that. It's even better. It'd be very worth it to do hordes on the server. Yeah, look at that. I think there's four. Come on, man, die. These hordes are so easy to do on Polaris. They spawn like 20 zombies. It's so easy to do them. Yeah, Mega Zombie is already here, man. Let's take him down. Oh, I gotta reload. I'm almost out of ammo, to be honest. There we go. And it popped again. Yep. We got eight lotuses from two hordes. Bro, that's insane. Let's go back in our humble little abode. Bro, we can make so many C4 with that. That's eight C4. That's all about melee. I'm hoping for grenades. That's all I need to uh, make C4. And with these zombies should drop a few grenades. Now oh, we're back in base. Got myself a quite a ton of grenades actually. We put all of these items in the lockers at the top. But these are mostly empty. Yeah, there's a lot of tape here. Yeah, this is the locker for C4. Just take everything. There we got one, two. Two more C4 have been crafted and I got a total of five C4 now. You know what? That's that's pretty good. But yeah, the cave, yeah, the tunnel base is starting to look very nice, man. The loot room is insane. It's full of loot. It looks so good. I'm really happy with this base that I built. I'm still not done with it though, obviously. I still got a lot to do. Still gotta upgrade, still gotta do the second floor, still gotta do some sentries at the entrance. And I can make more hordes, I'm pretty sure, actually. Because we got industrial copper from this run. But we'll focus on that later on. We won't focus on that right now. Let's put everything in here. And let's go find ourselves some insane base raids. And uh, yeah, we could do the key. And we could do another dead zone run soon, so. But that's basically what I want to do. That's all the stuff that I have to do. Alright, so I cleared out all the zombies. We're gonna go down and we're gonna kill the boss zombie and hope for a military crate. Now, on a normal server, it'll give me one or two. On this server, I don't know, since we got a lot from the Horde Beacon, we got four times. So I assume we're gonna get maybe even four military crates here. Whatever the amount, it's great. And people are starting to join too, so... I gotta be careful now. There's like ten people on right now. And we gotta kill this dude as quickly as possible before someone tries to counter me. Come on, die, bro. Put so much ammo in you already. Bro, die. How is he not dead? He should die soon. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Nah, that's insane. Bro, I never have to come to the dead zone ever again. I'm gonna put them in vault. Yeah, I don't even have space for all of them. Bro, this is too OP. Yeah, this explains why everyone is extremely geared. All you gotta do on the server is just gum down here, kill the boss once, and bam. You're set for life. Nah, that's too much, though, honestly. This is too much. I don't have space. I only have... Yeah, I know you need one more. There we go. Now let's take the gunpowder, obviously. The ammo. You're gonna have to leave some of the penumbra boxes here, man. Bro, this is insane. Alright, we're homing. This was definitely worth it. Definitely worth getting the key. Alright, let's start seeing what we get. I'm gonna open a few. I'm not gonna open all of them because I have absolutely no storage. All of my lockers are full, bro. So I need to make myself some industrial ones. But bro, this is insane. Look at this, bro. So much gunpowder, so much gun, so much high tier clothing, ammo for days. Armored plate for a day. Bro, this is insane. I still have another locker full of them. Yeah, I need to chop down trees and I need to make myself industrial crates fast. Our industrial box placed. Beautiful. Let's put everything in there. I probably need to make more because there's so much on the floor. Can definitely make PMC clothes out of these. This is too much loot for a solo, man, honestly. I have too much. 
never ends. Yeah, actually, it's, most of it did fit in, actually. That's good. We still got our bites. I still got a few stuff here and there. But everything in my base is full of loot. All the lockers are full. Yeah, we're full. It's full as well. Yep, another full box from Dead Zone items. Crazy. Alright, so airdrop is passing by, and I'm actually going to go search around for some base raids. It's time, I think, to start using some of the raiding gear that I have. Yeah, some of the lockers are half full, by the way, to be honest. Thought they were all gonna be full. And some of them are filled all the way up. We can make more charges if we wanted, to be honest. We got so much gunpowder. Yeah, at some point I gotta upgrade and make this base a bit bigger, so... Alright, we found this. It seems like a decent raid. 3 C4. We still got 3 more C4. Let's hope it's enough. Yep, we're through and... Oh, loot! Okay. Yo, guns for days, penumbras, broken gauss mask. There's a lot more lockers here as well. Bro, look at all that gunpowder! Oh my god. Alright, let's just explode. Bro, what? No, the airdrop landed here? Bro, the airdrop landed on the base I'm raiding? There's no way, man. Dude, people are gonna come here. Oh my god, this is literally impossible. Bro, there's so much loot. People are literally gonna come for this air. I really hope nobody comes for it, man. I need to get up there. I need to make a ladder. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a ladder. Oh, area claimed. Sorry, we can make a twig one then. No prop. Bro, there's people. I hear people. I hear people moving. Bro, where did he go? Alright, I'm gonna have to go up there and hide here. Bro, I can't even go there. This base is so cramped up. I need to get to the top. I need to get that airdrop. And I need to home depot and come back. Because my inventory is already full. I'm gonna revolt the, the charges. I don't want to lose them. Bro, where did that dude go? Did he run away? There's no way, right? Bro, if he ran away, that would be actually good. Because he's not gonna take the loot. I need to prioritize in taking tape and stuff that I need for more charges. Because there's still a lot of lockers in here. Alright, let's salvage this and we'll go to the very top. Check out what the airdrop has and we'll home and we'll come back. And we should be able to do that jump. Yep. Alright, perfect. And there's more lockers at the top. Oh, Brenter and 10 amp bullets for it. We got some sentry parts, gunpowder there. We'll take the Brenter, just take the bullet because we already have two in base. Alright, and let's home. Let's get out of here. We got a false shirt, so we'll come back. Hopefully, the person that I heard won't actually take all of the loot on the floor. Oh, we're back. Yeah, all the loot is still here. So whoever was out there just ran away or something. Yep, it broke. I broke the ladder. I should have salvaged it. But uh, a lot of loot. Another Brenter. A lot of bullets for the Brenter. Sign crystals. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff to make lotuses. So that's good. Yeah, it's a good raid. It's a stacked trade. So full of dead zone items. So I won't complain. And there's more junk here. A bunch of Bevlar. A bunch of Polaris roses. Tape. Cop coil. A bunch of guns. A bunch of ammo. Yeah, I brought the Brenter in Vault, so now we're gonna raid uh, the few remaining lockers with it. I think I have enough, I really hope so. But we got a lot of bullets from here too, actually, so that's even better. I'm gonna make myself another lead there. I should have tape, yep. There we go, we got one. Let's put this right over here. Yeah, there's a lot more lockers over here, man. Oh, that would have been a perfect C4 over there. Alright, C4 placed. This is my last C4, so then we have to go with Brenter. Yep, it broke, and... Bro, that broke one only? Okay, well, that sucks. Alright, let's use the Brenter now. Get ourselves another high tier rod, even though we already have one in base, but we have multiple, it's better. Alright, this one broke, it was empty, unfortunately. Let's check out this one. This one broke, and uh, grenades. Good. And there's not a lot of people on right now, which is perfect. So I can raid in peace. Bro, when later on it's night, there's gonna be like 60 people like yesterday. So I gotta make sentries until then, 100%. Oh, come on, break, please. Please don't take too long. I think it takes five bu Brenter bullets if it's not damaged. I think I missed that one. I hit the wall instead. Yep, it broke. And uh, ammo. A lot of ammo. I think the ones back here will be damaged. Yep. Okay, that one had stuff. But the thing is... I am full, so I need to home depot and I'll come back. Yeah, let's take all of these penumbra ammo. Let's take as much items from here as possible. We'll depot and return. There's still a few lockers that we have to raid, but not a lot. Alright, so I actually made myself a couple more C4s. So that's honestly perfect. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna completely finish that raid. Alright, let's place this C4 here. Hopefully it will break all of the ones around. I really, really hope so. It may break the leather, actually. I'm gonna salvage it. Alright, here we go. 
Yep, it broke the majority of the base actually, and uh, more guns. Key, we got another key. Ghost mask. Though it's not full, but still, that's nice. And oh yeah, there's still more lockers down there. Oh, more gunpowder and another Brente. I'll take those gladly. Yeah, there's still another loot room down here. Oh my god, look at all these grenades cans as well for days. Oh, this is really good. This Brenter is nice as well. I think if I place another C4 here, it'll break the majority of it. There's the claim banner. We can finally break it, bro. So many grenades, gunpowder. We can make so many C4. It's insane. All right, let's break this uh, claim banner. So while we're at it, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to depot and return for like the third time. I will right, we'll place a C4 there actually before we depot. We do still have a bit more space. Oh, explosive snowballs, bro. Okay. I mean, I'll take a few. I don't really like them, but I'll take a few. Just for the sake of me having a few in my base, basically. Oh, yeah. Then there's a, just a bunch of random guns we don't need. Don't need tummies or shotguns at all. Made myself another locker. Actually made a few. Put them in here for now, though, because we have no space. I think we're done from that raid, though. I think I'm gonna make myself some more storage. I'm gonna make, like, a, a one by one at the side. It's just gonna be wooden storage. Won't be good loot in there, but we need more storage, man. Base is starting to get cramped up, and probably this room here will upgrade it. We'll work on base for a little bit now. Now we're back to finish this with the Brente. Eh? Few lockers left, but not a lot. We upgraded base heavily as well, which is good. We have a lot more storage now. Uh, broke, broken, three broken gauze mask. Damn. All right, take the gun oil. So let's break this one next. This was a very good raid, though. Obviously, we're gonna be raiding more bases. This is not the only base raid we're gonna do. Uh, so that locker had some sentry barrels and junk. I think they're good, but. Yeah, I think we're done, man. I think we're done with this. There's still more lockers up there, but I have no idea how I'm gonna get up there, too. Oh, sign crystals. Okay, and grenades. You know what? That's not bad. There's a dude there. He's dead. Team geared. Oh, yeah. Bro, he had Brentry. Okay. All right, so earlier we saw this base raid. We're gonna we're gonna go for it, man. Three charges should be more than enough, hopefully. Here we go. Yep, it broke everything, and looks like we broke lockers too. But it looks like it looks like a bunch of junk, a bunch of grenades, uh, detonators, ammo, some random guns, but nothing too insane. I'll take the drives just in case I run out. But yeah, better than nothing. I like this. A lot of scrap too. That's good for lockers and upgrading base. Right, so at the very start, I said that I want to upgrade this base to full armor. Then that's what we're doing. Getting ourselves armored buildables and then just upgrading them fully to armored plates. Gonna make ourselves a core armored, bro. There we go. We got ourselves armored roof. We're gonna do the doorway as well. So let's just get rid of that instantly. We're gonna upgrade the door too. Let's get rid of that lighting and we got ourselves an armored door. Beautiful. Now let's do the door. Put that bad boy there and that's... Alright, we're gonna have to salvage some stuff. That's gonna be a bit of a pain. I think we're gonna have to salvage the generator or the lockers for sure. I really don't like this, man. Every single time I'm upgrading my base, I have to salvage half of my lockers. Yeah, can we place it now? Still no? Oh, that's great. And we got ourselves an armored wall as well. Is it also gonna be unallowing us to place it? Nah, man. We gotta salvage everything. <laughs> Let's just salvage all of the lockers. Oh, we could place this one. Yeah, I think it's this larger locker that's not allowing us. Alright, boys, it's hard beacon time once again. Let's just do one for now. As soon as it's done, we'll place the other one. So I know I have enough ammo. I'm gonna kill them with the jackhammer this time. Alright, so we're gonna start placing sentries, man. Only takes one per sentry, one lotus per sentry, which is not a lot. 
I'm gonna put the Penumbra in there. So if people walk past and are losing this military location, the the sentry will actually shoot it down. And I would know that there are people here. I really, really hope we'll actually kill some people from the sentry. I would be so happy if that happens. So it won't be a huge waste. I can actually make it into a, a larger one, but I don't know. Yeah, let's make another one. At some point, I'll try to upgrade the second floor, so... It'll just be honeycomb, so if people try to raid me from the top, they would need to raid the honeycomb as well. Let's get ourselves a gun for this second turret. I don't know what gun I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put, yeah, like something like this. Yeah, it's full of ammo as well. I don't see myself PvPing with this gun, and it has 100 bullets, so that's pretty good. And let's put that bad boy right there. There we go, we got two turrets. Beautiful. Yeah, our base is starting to be a pretty much... OP, man, and secured. We have on full armored loot room, few layers of honeycomb. We're gonna work on the second floor now. Bro, people are gonna have to waste so much to raid my base. I'm gonna take all the gunpowder. I'm gonna make them into charges now. I, I should be able to do a few. Got a lot of them. Alright, base raid time. I'm gonna raid directly onto the metal because that's probably where the loot room is. It's probably the rest is just doorways and honeycomb. Usually where the metal is is, you know, the loot area. And we're not through. Alright, I have more charges in base. I just gotta run back and I'll get them. It's very close to where I'm building anyway. Alright, charge placed. I still have a bit more. Let's back up. We're back. Alright, uh, we're through. Looks like three large crates. Uh bunch of okay this one does have some stuff in it but doesn't really seem like there's anything that crazy there's a few logs which i can just make them into roofs so we can't get countered bam and bam there we go a lot of armored plates so that's good we got a grenade launcher uh grenade there's nothing else in this crate just a bunch of ammo i think we still have to go even deeper man there's a grenade there's the generator down there yeah let's see what we can take there's walnuts a few metal cans We'll take this gun, a lot of ammo, chainsaw. Yeah, we'll have to go through even deeper, man. But nothing that crazy from this raid. I was kind of hoping for better stuff. I kind of raided into the metal for no reason because all this area is open. So I did kind of lose charges there. Yeah, we got ourselves a lot of metal from this. Won't complain. Yeah, so I still have uh, two more charges, which I don't think is going to be enough to go through. I think I have to go back to base for the third time. Get myself even more raiding gear. Yeah, we're not through. We raided the roof and all those armored plates, but it's whatever, honestly. We don't really need more armored plates. Let's put that there. Yeah, we'll just have to come back. I'm gonna put the can so that I'll remember where I raided. That is the damaged roof. And we will be back. There we go. Oh, bro, there's people outside. I really hope it's people, not an animal, actually. Wait, let me put the charge back, and I'm gonna go check out. Well, nobody died, though. Oh, yeah, it is a person. Yo, my sentries. Shout out my sentries, bro. What does he have? And a rattlesnake, that's it. He doesn't have anything that good. My sentries literally told me that there was a guy. That's why I placed them in the first place, man. Alright, let's place this bad boy. I really hope it's enough. No, it's not. Alright, no problem. I got more C4. And, alright, we're through. But, the, just, alright, well, there's a bed. And there's a lot of placeables. A lot of logs, cotton, and uh, rope. And military drives. You know what, I'll actually take all of them, to be honest. Alright, boys, and that is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. It did take me a very long time to make this, so I hope that you guys had a great time watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys made it till the end, then I just really want to thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!